Cancer, how are you? And Valerie, I know you're here too. <laughs> um, it's a stormy uh, Tuesday night and I am here to do your collective read for the next week, Cancer. I want to say that I adore you all. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, shares, comments, donations. You guys flipping rock and happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday to us all. I'm a Cancer as well, so yay. So anyway, um, this is gonna be your collective read for this week um, and it's a collective read. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. No panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. If you would like to donate to my channel because it may resonate with you, um, there is a link to donate at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. So anyway, Cancer, um... <sighs> You know what, we're going to have to sort through your reading tonight together <laughs> um, because, I don't know, um, I during your pre-shuffle, I got so many messages in just your pre-shuffle alone that I actually decide, decided to grab a notepad and start writing things down. And it, it kind of tells me like a huge overview actually of what's going on um, right now. But you know, I'm also doing things a little bit differently because I decided to use my flashcards too. Um, so anyway, listen Cancer, um, in your pre-shuffle alone, okay, this is what I got. I'm just gonna kind of tell you a little bit of a story, okay? So the first card that I saw was the Chariot card. That stands for Cancer, okay? But it, it can also stand for, you know, victory, coming in fast um, from a battle, wanting to, wanting to get victory in a situation. But um, Cancer, you, I believe, are standing your ground. You're taking a defense mode in a situation. Um, you're standing your ground because I, I saw the Nine of Wands, which, which actually came out in your reading. Someone, however, feels like there's a missed opportunity here. Someone missed an opportunity with you. Um, I got the Knight of Wands after that twice, okay? Um, <laughs> um, that means that the, the Knight of Wands is usually the player energy, okay? Um, they usually come in hot and fast and heavy and use their wand. They can be using their wand um, as a male phallic in order to be intimate and then they ride back out again. So the Knight of Wands is kind of the player card here. Um, could stand for fire sign, okay? Um, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a player card though. This could also be passionate communication you know perhaps somebody wants a new beginning right um, but anyway the king of wands came out tw or this knight of wands came out twice your options card here for you cancer came out five times <laughs> now this is just the pre-shuffle they don't come out it's just when I see them while I'm shuffling or when I'm splitting the deck um, but yeah the options card five times all right, so someone's got options here. I think one person had their kept their options open, and I think because you are standing your ground, someone feels like it's a missed opportunity, but that's also bringing in lots of new options for you, Cancer. Okay, because the Queen of Cups came out. However, someone does see you as their match because the Queen of, or the King of Cups um, showed his face as well. Um, the Three of Swords came out. Someone is heartbroken over this. There may be a possible third party involved here. Um, I believe that is the King of Cups energy, though, that heartbreak. Um, because you're just standing your ground, Cancer. And the Three of Swords here, um, 
uh, I'm sorry, the magician came out also. So that means that someone is trying to manifest maybe a new beginning. Somebody's trying to manifest change in the situation. Okay. Um, and uh, right after the King of Cups at the split um, was the commitment card. Okay. So the Ten of Pentacles came out as well. Um, also, um, I don't know why I wrote this down. You know they're coming. So I, I think that was a message, uh, what was it? Was it during, um, I think it was during the split of the deck and the song that was on at the time. I don't remember why I wrote this down, but I wrote down, you know they're coming. I don't know why that's there. I don't remember what card I saw or where I even got that message, honestly. But it, it the Empress is right underneath that, okay? Um, so in your Empress energy, I, I believe you are highly intuitive right now your your intuition is just like spot on okay cancer um but at another when I was splitting another deck because I use multiple decks right when I split another deck I got another option card and at the split was on the opposite side was the devil um that means devil energy so beware of that but then i got the walk away card so the eight of cups okay now when i was shuffling my mixed emotions deck i picked up on your overall emotions sort of in a progression which i thought was really interesting at the split of this deck and during the pre-shuffle um the anger card came out, or the the hatred or anger, was it anger? It was anger. Anger card came out. Um, anger and, and hurt and like hurt feelings kind of thing. And then I got the bird, so that's being freed from that. So you freed yourself from this past upset, Cancer. And then the next card that I saw after that when I was splitting the deck was Empowered. So just, there's so much that's happening with you right now, Cancer, and it's such a powerful time and such a powerful month. And you really are feeling empowered, you know? You're filling yourself back up. You've got this awesome, very strong, very highly lit, intense, <laughs> yet, yet, yet cool and fun, Empress energy here, just rocking it, standing your ground, and people are really noticing that they're feeling it. They're feeling that absence of your energy specifically. And I think this month is just going to be kind of a big uh, mishmash of mini shakeups, is what I'm kind of feeling for you. But you know what, though, Cancer, we will handle it together right <laughs> all right so cancer let's get started because this is a little bit confusing for me and I don't know why <clears throat> but right off the bat here for starters you got the two of wands someone is in like a crossroads kind of um, energy has a choice to make right someone needs to make a decision but it looks like with their hand on this wand um, it looks like they have made their decision. They're just kind of waiting for the chance to progress to the next level, okay? But it looks to me like they, in between two choices, they have made their decision. They just, they're kind of waiting also for um, a possible message. See this bird flying overhead? A possible message, a possible sign that it's time to start moving forward and advance with with this wand that they've picked, okay? Um, and I believe that, that they have chosen someone who is in their Queen of Swords energy, and I believe this is you, Cancer. Um, this is a woman who has been burned too much, too much to settle anymore, too much to put up with anything too much to 
um, turn the other cheek on things. Too much to be swept under the rug. She's been burned too many times in too many ways. And this is a woman who has said enough is enough. You come to me correctly and bring with you the truth or I'll cut you out of my life, right? She wants the truth, um, nothing but the truth, right? Um, that I believe is the kind of energy that you're in and you're in your queen energy. You, you, have, you have a lot of self-respect and you're standing your ground. Remember, you're standing your ground. You just want the truth. You want somebody to be real with you, that's it. But somebody realizes too that you are absolute and utter abundance and this they want to they they they're thinking about committing to this i believe they've made their decision here they were at a crossroads but now they've reached out for the one wand that's the person who is in whoop whoop that one wand is the person who is in this energy okay and that person is their abundance, their wish fulfillment, and their stage of commitment, okay? They want to come in, and, um, and they're coming in slowly, and this is a possible earth sign, okay? But it doesn't have to be, because there's a lot of fire in here, too, and, and the emperor's in here, so it really could be any sign, okay? Take it however it resonates, but this is a knight that comes in, He's very, very guarded. See how he's holding that pentacle right across his chest, all right? He's guarding himself, and this is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So this knight's coming in rather slowly um, to offer something stable, though. Some They want to make this situation stable again. They want to bring stability to it, okay? There may have been power struggles, or there may be a power struggle going on. There could be inner conflict. There could be some arguments. Um, I'm seeing this more as a power struggle, honestly. Um, it may be inner conflict, because they are moving very, very slowly. All right? Let's find out, though. Clarify the Five of Wands for me, please, Divine. For cancer. Clarify. Oh, that's going to be too many. Clarify the five of wands. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there may be a power struggle going on here. I believe that somebody knows. They may even... Um, they can feel that this... There's... A new cycle that needs to begin this wheel has to turn this is the wheel of fortune and it, it's it's going to be turning here it's got to turn and I believe that everybody can feel it here um, they they want to come riding in and bring justice to this situation you could be also um, um, dealing with a Libra but um, the, you know, the Knight of Swords, which you could also be dealing with um, an air sign. The Knight of Swords has something to say. He wants to come riding in. He's, he's got something on his mind, and he needs to say something. He needs to speak a truth, okay? So he wants to communicate. He's all about communication and coming in fairly speedy, right? To bring justice to the situation, right? Because he knows that a new cycle is about to begin. But he's having he's having inner turmoil being able to do this, and and that's why you know even though he has a lot to say and he wants to come in really fast, he's coming in really slowly, and he's guarded. Okay, but he does want to communicate. Um, there's been there's been messaging or or possible gossip or. Uh, maybe you heard something through um, a younger person, perhaps, or this could just be some fun, lighthearted, passionate communication. Um, I think this is what they want right now, um, just to open a door, I think, and begin some communicating. Um, clarify the Page of Wands for me, please, for Cancer. 
Clarify the Page of Wands for me, please, for Cancer. No reversals, please. Clarify the Page of Wands for me, please, for Cancer. How are you, Cancer? How are you guys? I had a fabulous weekend. All right, who's flipping up in my deck? Yeah, this could be from someone who, um, this is deceptive energy. This is like a, this is like a thief card, okay? And this is somebody who comes in, um, takes what they want and, and leaves, okay? Um, they're, coming in to get something from you you know it's really funny because I'm I usually do love readings here cancer but I have to say so far all I've seen are a lot of wands and I haven't seen any cups not a single cup so like the cups stand for love and emotion you know love Wands stand for passion and action. And I don't see any cups. I just see wands, a lot of wands, and now some swords. And not in the good kind. So just, I mean, I'm just reading the cards for you here. This is, this is somebody deceiving. This is somebody who plans to deceive also. You know, this is a thief. And thieving it requires some planning because thieves don't want to get busted in their in their thieving so they plan it out really really well so this could be somebody who all you know already knows what they want to do or what they want from you right and they want to come in with a little bit of passionate communication or you may be getting hearing some kind of rumor or some kind of getting some kind of message you know, either from this person who's just coming in to take something from you that they want. I, you know, take it however it resonates with you. It, 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 it could be, um, yeah, it could be news about somebody who did do this to you and have, you know, I take it however it resonates. It seems to me like someone's coming in, but they're only coming in to, to, because they want something. They want something from you, and they've been deceptive. This person wants, um, wants a victory, though, with you, Cancer. This is you. This is your card, the chariot. This is coming in swift and speedy from a battle, okay, in order to be triumphant and get victory. All right, this is fairly aggressive energy as well, too, with the chariot. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, and who's got this energy? The emperor. The emperor has this energy. And, you know, I can totally see the emperor feeling aggressive here. I should put this deck down. I can see the emperor feeling aggressive, right? Um... But the emperor to me, now this could be someone who also is fairly narcissistic as well. This is somebody who wants to be in control. Remember, we also have in here the fact that there may be some kind of power games going on, right? Um, but yeah, this is, this is a boss. This is a um, executive. This is a business owner. This is... Um, this could be a father figure, um, a, any authority figure, right? Um, someone that you might look up to, someone, um, someone control, it could be someone in control, definitely, or likes to have control, perhaps, um, or could be just controlling, um, yeah, this is, the emperor usually says, I'm going to do things my way, and I don't give a crap who says what about it, and I don't really care about your feelings on it either. That's usually what the emperor energy says to me, especially in aggressive energy and wanting to come in, take control of the situation in order to have victory over it. 
Um, where was this Ace of Wands? I think this Ace of Wands was here. Yeah, but this does say that, you know, they want a passionate new beginning, but this can also be um, the a wand that's used as the male phallic in order to be intimate. However, I am kind of seeing this sort of as wanting a passionate new beginning, just for the simple fact that they've already been through a lot. These are burdens. These are things that they've had to take action on. Um, anyway, they've, they've been through a ton of crap and they've got this one, this one rot, um, wand of passion left, right? They're kind of sort of stopping for a moment to take a breather, but then they're going to pick this wand up and they're going to be defiant. Their last great act of defiance, right? And they're going to, they've got a little bit of fight left in them basically cancer they've got a little bit of fight left in them because now they know they know what they want and it's with a burning passion okay so they're gonna they're gonna want to they're gonna want to go that little extra way they know they're almost to completion but they've got to push it just that little bit further you know they've got to keep going and fight if they want this if they want this passionate new beginning they gotta fight for it and you know what they're in the energy to do that I gotta say they're in their emperor energy right now that's pretty hardcore you can't get more powerful in the deck besides the emperor okay well I don't want to say that the uh, you, yeah there's the higher font and everything but I mean as far as a, a person in this energy, that's pretty powerful, Cancer. All right. Um, for your for your possible outcome here, right underneath. Here's the kicker. Right underneath this, the thieving card, the deceptive energy card. Okay. Right underneath that are these two snakes. Now. I, I don't know about you, but I think that speaks volumes right there. Then there may be two people involved working together as a possible team. This could, like I said, be a third party situation that's coming from your pre-shuffle. Pre now it's kind of starting to trickle in here. So there may be two people working together as a team perhaps, but they're snakes. They're snakes that falls directly under um, the Seven of Swords here, Cancer. Um, this thieving energy coming in to just take, okay? Take from you and leave. Deceptive, possibly planning, right? Um, and of course, remember, this person was at, what, at, was at a crossroads needing to decide between two. How long he was at that crossroads, we don't know. But he had to decide between two, okay? And remember the energy of the Queen of Swords. She became the Queen of Swords because she was tired of dealing with bullshit. Okay? So I want you to be forewarned. You may be dealing in the next week, you may be dealing with a couple of snakes, okay? Um, after that, we got... <laughs> okay, so after that, <laughs> I didn't even notice it. After that, we got right underneath the emperor, remember I said who was who is controlling <laughs> who is controlling and can be narcissistic okay they want to now they're feeling aggressive riding in for victory cancer however <laughs> need I say more need I say more <laughs> and on top of that cancer they're like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry. Oh no, no, no. This maybe I shouldn't even put this on YouTube. Anyway, listen. This is what I'm getting. Cancer, I feel that you're going to be okay. <laughs> you're going to know that these are two people that you can't trust, or at least someone you can't trust, right? Maybe you can't trust them for two different reasons. Maybe you can't trust them because they did two separate things. Maybe you can't trust them because they have two, sep two more or another person. I don't know. Take it how it resonates with you. But you have snakes coming into the picture or, or around you somehow in the next week. I believe since your intuition is highly lit, you remember in the pre-shuffle you're in your empress energy you know things you know things and honestly i don't even know how i wrote this down you know they're coming that's what i wrote and i don't remember why i wrote that and right underneath that is the empress that means that you are in your empress energy you're going to be extremely highly intuitive in the month of june and um you're going to know who these snakes are when they are around you. Um, <laughs> I believe this may have something to do with... Okay, I don't know where we were. <laughs> I don't know where we were, but a horse's ass to me is somebody who's not real with you. Somebody who is fake. They're fake. Everything, no, they're being fake. They're snakes. Some, there's gonna be two snakes coming at you or a snake coming at you for two different things, two, two different reasons. Or they're teaming up with somebody. I take it however it resonates so you're gonna be able to tell. It's gonna be in the next week and you're gonna laugh because you're gonna remember the horse's ass conversation, okay? You're gonna remember this. And you're going to be able to laugh it off, all right? Because you're going to see this person for what they really are. They're being controlling, and they're trying to find any way to control you because they've deceived you before, and they think they can do it again. They think they can do it again. And since you're standing your ground, remember your pre-shuffle. Since you're standing your ground, this is you standing your ground, Cancer, okay? Because you're standing your ground, they're being a baby. They're being a baby about it. They're being a baby because they can't, they can't have their way right now. Not the way they're coming at you. They're not coming to you correct. They are not coming to you correct. She wants the truth, not a horse's ass. Okay? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you know, I debated on whether or not to even make this video. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose so many subscribers for this. I am really not, a, I, I, well, I guess I'm goofy sometimes, but this is, yeah, I have to say it again because it was really good. Come on, let's face it. She wants the truth, not a horse's ass. <laughs> We need to make a song out of it. Yeah, she wants the truth, not a horse's ass. You know what? It would be great, wouldn't it? It would be great. I mean, it's awesome when a, when a man is in his emperor mode. Let's let me just let me just elaborate on this. It's awesome when a man is in emperor mode. Okay. But one, I would rather have him come to me slow and steady, because slow and steady r wins the race, right? And be real with me, than to come rushing in at me, all pissed off, controlling, acting bossy, all up in, in his ego, right? Being fake, being a horse's ass, and just wanting back in because I have something I have something more to offer him. You know what I mean? Like, I have 
whatever he's taking from me. You know what I mean? And I shouldn't have put myself in this because this really, I don't think, is even about me. But that's just how... I don't know why I chose to put myself like that, but... Yeah. That's... I guess, yeah. All right. I'll admit it. That's what I would want. I would want... I Personally, yes. I'll admit it. I would rather have somebody come in slow and steady and freaking mean it and be grounded and actually wanting to offer me something stable than to have somebody bossy, mean, controlling, playing games, playing head games, manipulating to get their way and, and being fake, acting like a horse's ass and, and just being around, just coming to me anyway because they want something. Because they want something, right? Whether it's energy, whether it's healing. We've talked about that before, Cancer. Whether it's money, whether it's a place to live, whether it's, you know, use of a car, whether it's, I mean, it could be anything. It could literally be anything. Take it however it resonates for you. But this is deceptive energy. And this is a horse's ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is not going to resonate with all of you. I totally get that because, like, seriously, I don't even know how long I've been at this. So, <sighs> okay, what the heck? What the heck? All right. Anyway, I want to kind of describe this to you, what I'm getting from this, okay? Because it is kind of important, this last part, Cancer, and then I'll, I'll stop, okay? I'll let you go. But listen, the deceptive energy, right? Two snakes coming in at you. Yeah, you're going to know, though. You, you are extremely intuitive right now and powerful, and you're going to be able to tell. They're horse's ass. They're being a big baby head about stuff. Okay, horse's ass meaning they're being fake. Okay, they're being fake. They're not being real with you. They're being a baby about something too. Maybe it's the fact that you're in your queen of swords energy and you'll only accept the truth. They're being a baby about it. But whatever they do, whatever they... Whatever story they write from this point on, they're going to be writing it with a pen. And that means whatever story they write, whatever they manifest, whatever they manifest, this is going to be permanent for them. It's going to be permanent for them. Whatever they write is going to be permanent for them. Now, listen, Cancer, that can be flip-flop, too. As a warning, I can see it this way. If you choose, if you choose knowing this, knowing, like, because you're going to be able to sense this deceptive energy, you know, if you go back with this kind of energy... You know, if you let that come into your life and your energy, that choice is going to be permanent for you as well. So choose wisely. You both have to choose wisely. Everybody needs to choose wisely because we are starting... Da -da -da -da. We're starting a new cycle, guys. We're starting a new cycle, and we got to start it right. Okay, we've got to start it right. <sighs> All right, you know, I'm going to I'm going to flip a coin after I turn this video off, and the coin is going to decide whether or not I load it onto YouTube or I trash it. Because right now I feel like just a total goofball, but I don't know, maybe this will resonate with somebody, you know, I don't know, what the heck. So anyway, Cancer, listen, I love you so much. Valerie, oh, 
I adore you, girl. I wish we could hang out. <laughs> And all of my fans, um, I you know, I have to spend some time with you guys. So I was thinking about maybe starting like live things. Tell me what you think. Um, I want to know what you think about me doing a live, like get on live. I don't know how to do that quite yet and keep up with the comments and whatnot. So I, I might be bad at it. But let me know what you think about it. Um, but thanks for all your support. You guys are flipping great and um, I'm totally psyched about the channel my kids love the channel um, you guys are loving the videos I can't thank you enough and um, yeah I'm tired it's late and um, I'm gonna go right I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go all right cancer have a great week thank you and peace out